Hi, hi there. My name is Bernadine Franco, and I welcome you to the Red Barn in Durham, Connecticut. The Red Barn is a safe haven for provision of holistic care, healing arts, and creativity. And within the Red Barn is this wonderful art center in which creativity flourishes. This video series celebrates some of the artists, emerging artists, that offer classes to the community to engage in their own creativity and they're in their, within their own healing. And today, I'm going to introduce you in a moment to Linda Butat, but first, let's journey through her painting. And this work is called Pieces of a Bigger Picture. I'm going to take a step back. Um, it is a canvas acrylic paint. And I was, before we shot the video, I was standing in front of it and immediately my eye goes to this section right in here. It's almost like this portal, this entry point, all this kind of dark, darker blues. But within this portal, you see these wonderful kind of brush strokes, almost like a waterfall that kind of rushes down. Um, What's interesting about Linda is that she is not a formal artist. She was not formally trained in art school. And so I want to introduce you real quick to Linda. Linda, welcome. Hi, thank you. And um, please share with us your artistic practice. Please share with us how you became a painter because as I noted, you didn't go to art school, you weren't painting it, you know, when you were a young kid. This came to you later in life. Yes, about three years ago, August 2018, I had a blank canvas given to me by a friend and I had taken it out and I had the paint and I did not know what I was going to paint. I didn't know what colors I was going to use. I basically was just led to begin and in four and a half hours I had created my first painting and it was as if a door opened for me. My first painting opened a door. I wanted to keep painting. I, I couldn't paint enough. And 19 paintings later, in 2021, I feel like it was a huge part of my journey. Um, it was exciting to see a blank canvas in front of me and not know what was going to happen until I was actually doing it. And even then, you know, I, I would stop when I felt led to stop and sometimes it would be a day, sometimes it would be an hour, and then I would go back, and it, it just flowed through me. And, and that's a beautiful point you write that you said, it flows through you. Can you share a little bit about, are there any kind of tools you use? So as, it's almost a little bit intuitive, as you, this flows through you, the spirit of yours, and you kind of transpose it on the canvas. Um, what are you using? Are you using brushes? Are you using like, uh, hand tools. What are you using? Today? I am using uh, brushes. There are some of my paintings that a brush was only used in one small part of the painting um, on the horizon, as a matter of fact. Just the woman's hair and shoulders was brushed. The rest of it's just water. Um, and if there was something on the table, I had bubble wrap on the table one time, and I used that. I had put the color down, I had poured some water, and sometimes I even use essential oils in the water and I took the bubble wrap and I just began pressing it into the paint and it was just making this beautiful image and I did that. So basically I just stand there and it just comes out and I know when I'm done and when I sign it, it's done. So some have been hours, some have been months. So One of the other things that you noted before we chatted earlier is that you don't place the canvas like on an easel. Lie it on the table. Tell us a little bit more about that. Well, that is um, because I use the water. I use liquids. Um, I it feels more comfortable to me to stand over the painting while I'm doing it, mm -hmm. rather than having it on an easel, especially because of the water part. But um, yeah, I, it, I, it, that's the way I feel. I feel like that's more comfortable for me. If, you know, I oftentimes ask, I teach uh, art history, I often ask students, like, if you had to enter this painting, where would you enter it? Now, for me, I immediately took a dive into right here. Yes. Where do you see yourself if you're, as you're in? Right here. Oh, interesting. Why? Yeah. Why this? So because while I'm painting something like that, I feel as almost, I feel almost as if I am in it. <laughs> so, 
Like almost like you're submerged? Yeah, it's almost like a dream state. You know when you're in a dream state? When I'm painting, sometimes that's how I feel. And it's usually after a meditation or I was up to six yoga classes a week. There's a lot of Shavasana and I've gone farther than that room during Shavasana many times. So um, it's almost like a moving meditation for me. I just, I am just flowing. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. You are very welcome. And thank you for joining us. Um, in the description, we have links to the websites, also to all the class offerings, and we hope that you will join us here at the Red Barn in Durham. Thank you.